The Lightning Group often gets phone calls in the sponsorship arena. I guess that comes uh, from my own personal history in the world of sponsorship. Way back when, longer than I, I like to remember, over 20 years ago, um, I sold the largest sponsorship packages in the history of live theater in Canada, probably in North America or the world, around Phantom of the Opera. Imagine getting $15 million in sponsorship 20 years ago, $5 million from Labatt's, $5 million from Pepsi, and $5 million from American Express. And the secret to getting $15 million 20 years ago is no different than the secret to getting $15, $20, or $100 million in sponsorship today. It's not about the property that you have, it's about understanding what the person you are trying to sell a sponsorship to can do with your property. It's all about the activation. So in the case of Pepsi, we used Phantom uh, to help them in their quick service restaurants, creating Phantom black cups with pull away you know, white masks. We created a Phantom educational program because they wanted to sell Pepsi in the high schools, which was allowed in those uh, days. For American Express, we suggested a number of activations, and, and the one that was my favorite and the one that they liked was the front of the line program. Now the front of the line program is a pivotal American Express marketing strategy today, 20 years later. It stood the test of time. What most people don't realize, it's not only made in Canada, but it only exists in Canada doesn't exist in the United States, it was simply an activation concept presented to a potential sponsor, American Express, as part of sponsorship. So whether it's Taste of the Danforth, or whether it's the Royal Conservatory of Music, or a host of other companies that we've worked with currently or in the past uh, in terms of sponsorship, what we do is we help figure out what their story is so that the people that they are speaking to truly understand why, uh, what they're, sorry, uh, truly understand what they are all about and why that they're a match. And then we go on to suggest to them how they can utilize the relationship to drive their business. We don't wait for the potential customer to sort of look at what we're all about and go back to their office and figure out themselves how they can utilize the sponsorship asset. We're right up there with what we call a menu of opportunities. And that's what makes us different from a sponsorship perspective.